Hey, Internet. Hey, YouTube. This is Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Uh, the clip I'm about to uh, show is from my last stream, uh, where I've started doing a challenge to complete every single map with every single character. Um, it's been pretty fun so far. I already got through my first two runs. The idea is to do it all on a win streak, so I've got to do it all in a row without ever losing, which is uh, it's going to be fun. But anyway, to the clip for today. Um, I get a lot of questions come up uh, when I'm doing a lot of these like kill runs and level runs and like challenge runs. Uh, why don't I ever pick Bible, Garlic, and some of these other weapons? And the fact is um, there's a difference between an item being really good and an item being meta for a leaderboard build. Um, so just because something is meta for a leaderboard build does not mean that item is universally good in all runs. And I think this run uh, showcases also the other end of that spectrum, which is just because an item isn't in the meta for a particular leaderboard build doesn't mean that item isn't good. Um, so in this run, we use both uh, Garlic and its Evolution Soul Eater, as well as King Bible and its Evolution Vespers. And together, those, um, along with some of the other items that we are, what, what, you know, things that we pick, end up being the difference in why this run is able to perform as well as it does. Um, so again, just thought this would be a good example illustrating that uh, items can be good without being meta and items can be meta without being universally good. And in particular, uh, that King Bible and Garlic are very, very good weapons and are very, very good at trying to, or runs where you're just trying to survive for the 30 minutes, even if they're not particularly meta for the leaderboard builds. Uh, and with that, here is the run. Do I want to track the orb now? I don't think so. I think I want to get six items and then grab a track door and kind of Labrador on the others later. Song could be pretty good, but I don't want to get Skull, so probably not. Uh, let's go... Let's go more Tome for now. Just to increase the amount of damage we're doing with everything. Ooh, I'm gonna take King Bible. We'll get Spinach later. But the combination of Garlic and King Bible is so good for defense, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna miss out on that opportunity. There's Spellbinder. Okay, so now we can evolve King Bible. We do need to start actually upgrading our weapons though because Garlic is not going to cut it in, like, the next wave. For now, it's okay, but... Okay, more King Bibles is good stuff. And then I think we want Duplicator. Duplicator... Otherwise, we're actually looking fine so far. The Green Boys are very tanky, that's, that's true. More King Bible. Extra speed, extra area is not bad. Let's keep going Santa Waters as well. Maxing out Santa Waters would be fantastic. But we already have uh, two possible evolutions here, which is pretty good. Thank you, Elephant, for the uh, follow. Hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, I do want Bracer. Again, faster we get to six, the faster we can get our other upgrades. But we're still doing really well, despite the tankiness. There's spinach. Fantastic. Now we have three possible evolves. Do we just straight up get Candle Labrador? What do we have left to get? Uh, we do want duration. No, no, no. We want amount and we want recovery. So I can't take Candle Labrador straight up. I've got to wait. Yeah, get wrecked, you jerks. Oh, there's a boss here. Yo, boss. Get out of here. Get out of here, boss. Okay, got a little dicey in there. There's Duplicator. Fantastic. That'll help. Just want to get as much experience as we can here. Yeah, heart we need for the uh, garlic upgrade. Uh, I'm gonna go keep. I'm gonna keep going, King Bible here. I think it makes the most sense. 
Getting that early protection from King Bible really, really solid. And then we just need to increase the... Hey, Pumarola. Fantastic. We got six, guys. We can go... We can go a treasure hunting. A treasure hunting we shall go. Alright, let's go on an adventure. We're gonna go get... Uh... Fantastic, thank you. Don't want to leave anything behind. We want to go get a uh, Tract Orb now. Could get speed first, but I think I want just a Tract Orb straight up. Hello, Javier. Welcome. Let's keep going Garlic here. That wouldn't be a bad first uh, Evolve if we can get it. I do like the increased area grab. It's not bad. So we'll grab the other two all, or at least we'll grab wings on the way back and then we'll get armor and then grab Candle Labrador. We should be in a good spot. With the extra regen plus the armor, we're gonna be really hard to kill. All right. It's looking really solid. Yeah, win streak is just uh, getting to 30 with every single character and area combination. Um, there are some mods, but most of them are just like changing the sprites out for different sprites, which is still cool, but nothing in terms of like gameplay apart from just like straight up making the game broken. I think somebody's trying to build a multiplayer mod. That's kind of cool. All right, let's make our way over to the Attract Orb. Then we should try to get an evolution soon. What's closest? Garlic? Probably the closest evolution. Well, with that in mind, let's just keep pumping out more into Garlic. Man, that guy just absorbed that entire minecart. What a boss. Crushing these shooters here. That's like free XP. It's free real estate. Uh, okay, let's go grab that attract orb. Should be right up here. We're only about five minutes in, and then we're already doing pretty well, I think. Now, obviously, the game, this or the dairy farm, gets a lot trickier later on. So we'll have to see how it goes as we get to the more challenging stages. But for now. Okay, we actually got to kill these fools, otherwise they're going to chase us down and kill us, so we're going to just focus on aggressing before uh, before we actually take the Attract Orb. There's a uh, chest right there. Grab some of this experience. Now let's grab it. Okay, now they're going to come after me, like the jerks that they are. But we should be able to kill him pretty easily. Right, let's go grab the chest. Ooh, dog. These guys are scary as hell. Um, okay, there's garlic maxed. Let's go uh, level it up. How about? Heal me, Seymour. All right, we're gonna kind of sit out this wave for a minute, just kind of heal back up. Once we're at full health, we'll continue our migration plan. Um, Fire one would not be bad to level up soon as well. Okay, we're gonna, ooh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Love that. Only on this map, yeah. Every single chest can evolve in this map. Look at this garlic just crushing these guys. I guess it's now called... What is it called now? Something... Soul Eater, I think? Get wrecked! We do gotta be a little bit careful. We don't let these guys just completely destroy us. Okay, we're gonna go for the wings next, and then we'll get the Candle Labrador, and then we'll finish off with the armor. Oh, I guess I should update my title. Hold on a second. 
one out of 84 runs completed. Okay, let's continue. Is this map? No, this is fully out now. The game itself is still in early access, though, so... I guess you could say the map is still in early access, because the whole game is. But... It's a, it's officially out. Like, you don't have to go to the beta anymore to get it. Okay, now we get the green dudes. These guys are real jerks. It's a good time for us to be on the move, though. I will say, despite the fact that... Wow, what were those words? Despite the fact that dairy farm is really hard, you do get a lot of tools. Um, depends on what you call a vampire. There is the Nosferatu in the library at the 25 minutes, and there are vampire bats. Uh, let's go with duplicator. That makes a lot of sense. An extra amount is always a good time. Oh my gosh, these guys. Take them out, take them out. Take them out, get their experience. Give me their souls. All right, we're almost to the wings. No one can get through. The knockback is too strong because of the garlic. Although we are taking a lot of damage. We need a lot more levels. This is what we need. Is anything else ready to evolve? No, not really. We're pretty close to the wings, though. I mean, keep in mind, we're still only at 10 minutes. Thank you, Polster. Putster. Uh, let's keep going with Fire Wand. That would be a decent one to level up soon, too. It's a lot of damage output. No, it doesn't heal that much. That's fair. But it heals something. Okay, we're almost to the wings. Then we can get the area, and that will help out a ton crush these things. Thank you, Unlucky Altar, for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Just grab one of these. Okay, now these assholes are gonna come after me. Let's take them out. They're gone. I'm gonna chill here for a minute. Get some HP, try to kill this boss. The knockback is just insane. Is it luck-based? Uh, I don't know if it's luck-based. That's a good question. Ooh, but look at all that. Look how much we were healing right then. And a reminder, every time you heal, it does increase the damage it does for the whole rest of the time. So this is not bad to just kind of heal up here. Uh, let's continue with... Probably Santa Water. Even though I know we've been leveling up the other one. Yeah, this is great. Let's grab some XP here. Oh yeah, this is a great wave. This is a really great wave for us. This is a time to just stack up. Let's just grab the chest. Okay, so we got the wings. Let's go grab um, the area increase. More fire wand. Oh yeah, that's great. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. More Fire Wand. Okay, we've almost got Fire Wand max. This is not bad. We're healing quite a lot, actually. Ooh, okay. We gotta, we gotta kind of chill a bit. Some of these green skeletons are getting through. There's no bueno. Uh, Let's continue with Santa Water. Okay, there's Magic Wand maxed out, so we have another thing that can evolve. Let's keep making our way towards the uh, Candle Labrador. 
Do I have a day job? I do. I've talked about my day job before, actually. I am a kind of tech role in a major beverage manufacturing company. <laughs> I'm a, a tech supply chain role. Or supply chain tech role, probably the better way to say it. It's per yeah, it's, it's a permanent damage increase every time you heal from it. Um, let's just grab spinach, I think. By the way, we're at full health now. We can continue on our crusade now. We need to heal back. I said that too soon. We got these uh, Power Rangers coming in hot. But we're healing up from them as well and getting a lot of experience, so... No complaints from me. Keep going, Magic Wand. Anything that can evolve is going to be helpful for us. Hopefully we'll get... Wait, wasn't there a chest? Maybe not. Oh, there it is. There's the guy with the chest. Hey, give me your chest. Thank you. Now we get Hellfire. Hellfire will help out a lot with damage. This is where the fun begins. Let's keep going, Magic Wand. Oh, Soul Eater is great. It's just not that good... Like super late game when things have so much HP. But consider that garlic also, the thing that like people often forget is that garlic also increases the knockback of all of your other weapons, which is really, really good. I'm gonna grab this red gem there. Um keep going, magic wand. Magic wand. Santa water, love it. Little mini mega gem there. I don't think the healing increases. I think it's just that um, we're getting so many ticks of the healing. Daniel Rod 56, thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, reminder again, if you're watching on YouTube and want to support the channel, I am trying to qualify as a Twitch partner, which is why there's the goal of how many Twitch viewers on the screen. So if you want to support and want to do it in a way that's really easy, like literally just switching over to Twitch, to watch is a huge help to me right now. All right, let's crush these guys. But don't feel obligated. You're ha I'm happy to have you guys watch on YouTube as well. I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, we're almost to Candle Labrador. We're still doing really well. 15 minutes in. Sir Crumple, thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Jenner4 or Genner4, thank you for the follow. RB Lee, thank you for the follow. How many hours do I have in this game? I think I'm about to hit 200. Sot, thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, they're not knockback. They're knockback resistant, but they're not knockback immune. They're similar to other uh, late game enemies. W So, thank you for the follow. Genos HK, thank you for the follow. Yeah, first win was Antonio in the forest. Exactly. And as I said, I, I think I said this earlier, I'm going to make a spreadsheet of all of the runs so that you can uh, watch them if you miss any and just to kind of show how we've been doing it. All right, now we got uh, Candle Labrador. We're basically set. We can just chill. But you know what? No, let's grab the armor. We should grab the armor. Oh, absolutely. That's the, that's the plan, is if I make partner, we'll do not every stream, but a lot of the streams will be on Twitch, and then uh, I'll be posting the VODs on YouTube, and then I will do also um, YouTube-exclusive streams every once in a while. Husky McFluff, thank you for the follow. Are we ready to evolve something? Yeah, Santa Water's ready to evolve, and Magic Wand. Let's crush this merman. Merman! Nice. 
nice. He's ready to go. Husky McFluff, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. If you ever die, will you... Yeah, if I die, the whole streak starts over. We gotta do it all in a row without making mistakes. That's the runs. Bro side. <laughs> All right, let's go get uh, let's go get some armor. That's like the tiniest labora of all time. Itty bitty labora. Okay, Bibles, love it. Just crushing these guys. Look at this, labora is so good, guys. King Bible, love it. Uh, let's go with spinach for now. We can get Rune Tracer later. No rushing into enemies with one pixel. No, this is not a kill challenge. This is just a try to build the most effective setup to win challenge. Keep in mind, we will have to do like X dash. Like, <laughs> this is not this is not guaranteed. But I will be saving the three seeker characters for the end. Um, let's go with a track orb. Rune Tracer. Rune Tracer. Candle Labrador. Rune Tracer. Uh, Bracer. We're like ready to go now. Alright, let's go grab that armor. We're gonna need it for the late game. Could very well be. Am I sure I don't want to go hard right for 10 minutes? Pretty sure. Yeah, 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 we'll do everybody. Missing No will be the last one. So we'll do X Dash, then we'll do Red Death, then we'll do Missing No. For a grand total of 84 runs. Actually using garlic, I know, it's it's wild. Uh, I actually used it last run too. I've used it twice. That's like 10 times as much as I ever use it. But it's because we're not going for kill builds or level builds or anything weird like that. Let's kill this guy for his chest. Thank you. The magic wand. And I think then all we have is uh, Vespers left. And we should be good. Not only do I want to do what you're suggesting, Time is Bacon, um, I would really like the game to add seeds. So that we could be playing the same seed. Same power up order and so on. Would be sick. Oh, we're gonna be going kinda random. Twitch chat chose this last setup. Ninety-three view oh my gosh, you guys are coming out in full force, thank you. Appreciate that. Any any passive beyond six that you pick up from the ground will get added. So we're actually gonna have ten passives. Uh, the highest you can get is eleven. Hello. Goodbye. Vera Wen, thank you for the follow. I can't believe this game was only two pounds. Yeah, it's so good and it keeps getting better. Like this last content update was amazing. Song of Mana is like freaking awesome. Love the dairy farm, brand new aesthetic, brand new enemies, brand new level layout. It's great. You still couldn't get the death. Sorry, Kiki. It's a tough thing. It's not. It's not easy to get for sure. Even if you follow everything correctly, you can still just get RNG and lose. That's how it is. Dutch Rusted, thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. No cows, that's fair, that's fair. All right, now we got armor, now we're good. Oh my gosh, we just melted those guys. Labora, coming in hot. Let's get a maxed out Rune Tracer. Hey! Giant robot, I want your chest. Give me your chest. Come on, bro.
You got all 64 challenge done in four to five days because every time I watched one of your videos, it sent me to play it again for another two to three hours. Nice. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you've been uh, learning from the videos. All right, so we just got accessories to pump up now. We got the full squad. We can chill. We'll do some movement so we're not just looking at a uh, an old man standing in a circle. I am a little bit behind world record pace. This is fair. Let's get Empty Tome. Crushed. Absolutely devastated. The loss cannot be recovered from. Let's uh, build up everything now. Still haven't beat death yet, no matter what I do, he slaps. <laughs> well, that's what'll happen when you have a, an enemy that can kill you in one hit. It's almost like he was meant to never be killed. And then some crazy guy in Korea discovered that you could actually kill him. And here we are today. Max Miller. What language are you speaking? Parece tão fácil como vos. Is that is that the Portuguese? It looks like almost Spanish, but it's not Spanish, which makes me think it's Portuguese. If it's Portuguese, I apologize. I don't speak Portuguese. That's what I thought. It looks a lot like Portuguese. I hear if you're uh, I hear if you're Port if you can speak Portuguese, that Spanish is pretty easy. Uh, but the, the reverse is not true. I mean, I certainly can't read Portuguese that well, but I can read Spanish pretty well. Yao Ogadoy, thank you for the follow. Let's crush these green guys. Give me all your souls. Are you fluent in German? I am acceptable in German. Ich kann ein bisschen auf Deutsch sprechen, aber nicht so gut. Ich habe nicht uh, so oft um, geübt auf Deutsch. Uh, are you acceptable in English? No, clearly not. Clearly not. Speaking English is tough. It looks so easy when you play it. That's what uh, 200 hours into a game does. You should see me in Monster Train. I've got over 2,500 hours in that game. No, I think that's exaggerated. I think I've got 2,300 hours in that game. But I still mess up sometimes. I am pretty good at American. I'm not even going to attempt a British accent. Hello, Tough Tits Gaming. <laughs> Zaf Kiel Toxic, thank you for the follow. What game do you have the most hours in? It's probably Monster Train. League of Legos might be up there. Or, uh, Leg of Legus. Um, nice. but I don't play it anymore because that was not a game. That was a, uh, that was my crack cocaine addiction for several years. Zafkiel Toxic, thank you for the subscription. Hope you enjoy the stream. What's up? <laughs> Somebody, how's it going? You're welcome for the entertainment. I'm glad that it's entertaining. League is only good when Earth Mode is out. I did like Earth Mode when it first came out. The second time I was kind of like already already done with it. Daniel Rod 56 thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Really appreciate the support. We are crushing right now. Also, uh, actually, I guess I'll wait. I'll wait till we get closer to the end of this run. <laughs> we've, I mean, we've gotten a lot of subs this. Honestly, I've been getting a lot of subs 
Ever since our stream numbers, so the the 11 or the 14 hour stream was the first time I've ever gotten more than 100 viewers at a time. I don't understand anything you say. I'm laughing a lot. Well, good. Um, was the first time I got more than 100 viewers at a time. And since then, we've had streams where I've had like 250, almost 300. And we've been getting more subs in like every stream than I typically would get in like a week. So man, really appreciating all you guys coming out. League stream when you make partner. I think my wife would uh, hang me. <laughs> I don't think Lara would accept this as a uh, as a reward. But we could think of something else for sure. I'll think of a good uh, a reward for uh, reaching partner. Also, we are just dominating this. Former and monster train viewer who's confused who all these people are. Did I play ranked? Yeah, I got to uh, platinum one, platinum two, I think. Before I uh, literally punched my monitor at three in the morning after five straight losses after an incredibly stressful week at work. And that's when I decided it's time for me to stop playing League. Uh, I typically would play uh, top or support. I probably could lose HP. We'll see how the last uh, minute goes. Right now we're just kind of crushing, but in the last minute things can get really spicy. Could you outrun the experience gems? That would be an interesting experiment with missing no to see if we can outrun. Get you a man that can do both, top and a bottom. <laughs> Did you use your chess words? No, I wasn't using chess words at that time. The chess words came later. I can talk about that sometime. Germany was a whole trip for me because a lot of things changed for us, for my wife and I, when we went to Germany beyond just the fact that we were living internationally. A lot of like our life changed as well. And uh, that included the use of chess words. <laughs> Outrun the XP so you never level up. That'd be great for the uh, high kill runs. The stream is bumping, man. It's been great. Really been appreciating you guys coming out. Good morning, Vin. Welcome. What game do you stream? Uh, currently, I'm streaming a game that I stream. Do you have interest in games like Elden Ring? I was playing Elden Ring, but then Mo then Vampire Survivors came out with a bumping update, and I haven't played it ever since. But yeah, I play um, lots nice. of games. Javier Salamanqui, thank you. Or Salamanqui, I don't know. Salamanqui, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Did you ever visit any part of Scandinavia? Unfortunately not. We really wanted to go to Sweden. Um, but we never did. We have friends that are from Sweden and we were like always talking about visiting them when at their like family home We never went uh, Diatech, thank you for the follow. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh my gosh greens Gotta get your greens guys. They're good for your health top three games of all time um, We could say the top three games in terms of like Pick up and play Monster Train's up there, Slay the Spire's up there, Vampire Survivors is surprisingly good. Um, but I know, I loved all the Dark Souls games. How do you, how do you pick? I've played like, at least like a thousand games. How do you pick among that, right? Like, I've played almost every Super Nintendo game, almost every N64 game. Like, I don't know how to pick what my favorite game of all time is. I've got certain games that like remind me of certain periods of my life. I would probably say Final Fantasy VI is up there. Um, I do like Northern Lion quite a lot, actually. In fact, Northern Lion is why I started playing Monster Train, which ended up being the game I streamed for so long. So yeah, Super Mario RPG is like super great. Love it. Ah, you know, I need to get, I need to play that with my kids. Would you guys watch me playing Super Mario RPG with my kids? Is that something that you guys would be interested in? 
Because I would totally do that. I want to get them playing some of these old school games again. I tried to get my daughter to play Super Metroid with me. That's also one of my favorites of all time. I've got, I mean, they've been playing Portal 2, which has been fun for them. It's a little bit of a nightmare for me, but uh, no, I like playing games with them a lot. If there are some chess words. Yeah, I'm not going to use the chess words on the stream with my kids. Uh, funny enough, funny enough. They know my chess words, though. For them, they're home words. They can, we don't get upset with our kids if they curse, but to be honest, they don't really curse. We don't make it interesting, and so they don't do it. I've never actually played Factorio. I've heard so much about it. I've never even watched it, really. I guess it's like a full, like, automation thing, right? Toe Jam and Earl. I never played Toe Jam and Earl, either. I did play uh, Earthworm Jim, though. I hear Factorio is really good. Unless you don't want to play other games. <laughs> it's one of the most cracked games I've ever played. I have I've beaten getting over it with Bennett. What's his face with Bennett Foddy or whatever? Yeah, I've beaten that before. That was a, that was a trip. Yeah, are we ready, guys? Let's see how we do. Here's the moment of truth. I've never played Risk of Rain or Risk of Rain 2, but I've heard they're both very good. Yeah, we're trying to beat... Oh my gosh, are we going to make it? Is Labora going to save us? We might actually live, guys. Look at this. Labora's actually coming in through clutch. Dwarven Fortress, I've never played. I've heard RimWorld's pretty good... Auction not included is pretty good. Well, we're not going to try to move, that's for sure. I should try some of these for sure. It's really what's saving us is the knockback. So that only the guys that get through just die to Labora. Yeah. Not bad, guys. That's two in a row. That's two in a row. Mega Man X, man, you, Mega Man X was so good. I love that game too. There's a lot of really good games. So it, the first one and the second one have two different view perspectives, right? Second Risk of Rain is like 3D and first Risk of Rain is like what? Top down, like what is it? But they're different, right? Or is it isometric? I can't remember. Seven Days to Die. I've heard that's pretty good. I've never played it, though. She has not played it. Should I try to convince her to play it? 